so okay back into it right break. we need a little little bit of a breather um so so we we missed earlier on your book recommendations yeah because normally I, we've been trying to start it with we, my we book normally recommendations start with it. i just finished 4.5 i'm on book five of galaxy's edge yes and the whole trip back from uh, your parents it was like <laughs> i played it and Jess over your phone asleep. I was like, okay, I'll put on, I put on a Harry Potter book. And we talked more about that because we both listened to the books before, read them. So it's more conversation of what's actually happening. Yeah. So I'm excited. What, what book recommendation? What have you been reading? So I know that I was telling you that I was reading stuff by John Ringo. And I think mm-hmm. I mentioned a couple of them. And I bought, I got his book. I went on to, I another- started it. I did start it. Did you really? I listened to like the first five minutes. I was like, Nope, I can't. I gotta finish Galaxy's Edge. I can't do this to myself. You're like, I know I'm gonna go deep into this. I can't do it. I, I know it's more than five minutes. I listened to probably about thirty minutes of it. And I was just like, I'm hooked. That's that's good. We'll stop there. This is more than a teaser. This is like, here's your entree, sir. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like I gotta wait. Well, I'm I'm reading another one done by him and another author, um, and this one is still sci-fi. Um, completely different, separated from everything else. Okay. You know, separated from, but this one is about, you know, it's based in a sci-fi empire, right? Yeah. And it's about the third prince who is considered, you know, worthless and, you know, just kind of, you know, a dandy, you know, um, how many books do you go through a week? This week I have gone through five books. Yeah, see, it takes me a little bit of a while. <laughs> One was an audio book, and four of them I read myself. Okay. I just, audio in, books in, is... in the audio book, I had already read, but okay. then I wanted to listen to it as an audio book. But I was going to get into the, to the audio book, because the audio book was... Um, uh, Jim Butcher's one of Jim Butcher's latest novels. Uh, and this one is for his newest series, the Cinder Spire series, right? Um, and the Cinder Spire series, I forget what the first book was called, but it's essentially, think like, I've heard this series before and it wasn't from you. So think like, like airships, right? Aardvark. Aardvark read this Aardvark series. Aardvark read this series. Yeah. Yep. And so. Because he was talking about it last time we were I playing Risk when, of Rain. I think when I was hanging out with him, we were talking you about it. You recommended it and he was like, oh yeah, I'm at, like this book and yeah because they just came out with the second one which is the olympian affair Mm -hmm. right so but getting into what it is is it's you know think like you know like age of sales you know like you know 1700s age of sales with everyone being all proper and yeah you know cast the main sales and all that jazz time frame but with um with airships Right. Okay, that makes me think of. But they're uh, not blimps, right? So don't think blimps. It was like, was it? It wasn't never ending. It was like uh, everlasting. All I know is there was an airship. Had Robert De Niro in there. He was the cap. Uh, oh, something star. I know it was like star ending or never. No, it was. Ah. Uh, oh, I know what you're talking about though, because that's because a really this good movie. Wall. Yes. And there's three witches, yes. and they get it from they live longer from the star. Yeah, and that's just on the trailer that it shows you. Yeah, no, that did you watch it? Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. Like, it's that's... so good. Like that one came out of left field for me. Well, yeah, and then they put him on there, Robert De Niro, and it's just like, okay. why is Robert De Niro? And in then this? you're like, and he's a cross dresser. Oh yeah, but his character was so good. Oh, it was, but it it was it was a good movie. Never ending star. It wasn't starstruck. Mm-mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it. Um, but going back to airships, which got yeah. me onto this. Yeah. So you know, um, for oh well, now I was going to reference something. And now I can't remember the name of that. Oh fuck that! Alzheimer's coming in hard and fast, son. Stardust. Stardust. Yep, he was in Stardust, and he was the captain of the airship. Which is more fiction, but everybody is, you're saying everybody's doing this. So, but yeah, so when we're saying airship, think closer to like Final Fantasy airships, right? Air- so kind of like, was it a 
Final Fantasy, I mean, that gives me more of more of an idea. I'm thinking of uh, Treasure Planet type airships. Yeah, yeah, with sails. Yep. It's very much with sails, right? It's and, very Treasure Planet, definitely. Yeah, um, you know, it's an alternate world. Like, there's a lot of, like, like people live in these spires, you know, these towers. Um, of course and not, Star Wars. They can't... They can't be on the ground because the entire like surface area is populated essentially by monsters. Um, and you know, there's you know, like etheric energies that power like, you know, you know, crystals that they can use for weapons and shit like that. I don't know, it's very cool. I get I got very into it. I was kind of into Jim Butcher's other series, um, which was like urban fantasy. Yeah. Like you know, urban paranormal fantasy stuff. I fell off of it at some point, point like book 10, I think. But, um, yeah, some, he very after much. You, after you read too much of one thing, it's kind of just like, well, I then, need more. I need more. Yeah. Like, and then, like, he very much, I feel like, upgraded his prose. Like, the way characters are written and the way he, he has been writing.